Do you ever want to know where your time go? How the hours just seems to go by fast every day and you can't get the things that you want done? Well, we're going to tell you today to delete your social media, particularly TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, all those, but make sure you keep two dark minds on your YouTube. Yes. But we're going to tell you how that is taking all your time away from being and getting where you want to be. I'm Dr. J. I'm Dr. C. And thank you for watching A Two Doc Mind. Hello, hello, hello. We are A Two Doc Mind. And today we want to tell you why you should be deleting your social media right this moment. Absolutely. So Dr. J, why should we be deleting our social media accounts. I mean, even the federal government is is talking around this, around uh, some of the social media, especially with the younger kids, right? Mm -hmm. Not so much the older generation, but our younger generation, they are spending entirely too much time, you know, swiping their finger on their iPhones or their phones or tablets or whatever, watching social media, watching other people pursue their dreams, watching other people go on trips, watching other people reaching their dreams, right? Mm -hmm. And the goal for you is stop watching what other people do and go out there and do it yourself. Do it yourself. So let's just clarify what this conversation is talking about. We're talking about social media accounts. So Dr. J and Dr. C, we heavily use YouTube. And if you are a subscriber, you know we post content all the time, but that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about social media and how you can alleviate some of your free time by deleting some of your social media accounts and activity. Yeah, but not the two doc nines no, uh, channel. Not Absolutely the two doc not. Don't do that. And and the reason why we, we just want you to like, comment, and subscribe and hit that notification bell because we want you to get this content hot while it drops. Absolutely. But you know, you spend a little time watching Two Doc Minds, mm -hmm. right? Self-improvement, getting things that's going to help you. Yes. We're not talking about self-improvement. We're talking about watching people fighting all day on YouTube. Yes. Watching people do silly acts just to get clicked. Mm -hmm. Right? We're talking about what my kids call brain rot. Oh, okay. Right? Stop looking at things that won't improve you. And with many kids, right? And I think you hear about this, especially with the younger generation, is they watch it and think that this is how people life are, right? Yeah. They're always happy. They're always traveling. They're always, always. Yeah. And I feel like I'm not doing enough. So I didn't get depressed. Right. I then feel less than. Yes. And that's the unfortunate thing about social media, because what you see on that camera is not always what's happening in their real life. So you have to be able to think about how to separate that. It's just like watching a scary movie, right? When you're a kid, you think some of that stuff is real, but it's just fake. It's yeah. just a movie. Social media is just that. It's just entertainment, if you will. Yeah, you made a good point that it's hard to separate the fake from the real. And yeah. I think that's why a lot of people get consumed with it. Yeah. And it also brings us to another point, Dr. J, of why it's so hard to quit social media because you feel like you're going to miss out on the narrative. Are you yeah. going to miss out on the big news? Are you going to miss out on some big information if you don't continue to watch? Yeah. Or you're going to feel like you're not keeping up with the, the, the no Correct. and keeping up with all the current news yeah. happenings that yeah. all your friends and family are knowing about. So a lot of people have a fear of quitting it before for that reason. Listen, the best thing that can happen to when you're focusing on your journey, and I can tell you just from, I think our journey, but particularly mine, is that when I'm on a go and I'm focusing, I tune everything out, oh. right? So I'm not going to some weekend events. I'm not going to the show at night. Mm -hmm. I'm in the lab improving myself so that I can get to where I'm going. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you're trying to get somewhere, yep. Now, if you're there and you're happy where you're at and you're good, then do what you do. Right. But if you're trying to get to some place, you have to relinquish, worrying about, am I going to understand what the new celebrity will do? Mm -hmm. Or am I going to be able to understand or be up to date with that new news topic or that new trend that's going out? Let that go. Start your own trend. Yep. 
right? Yep. Do your own thing, but stop worrying about what other people are doing and saying. Let yeah, it go. Yeah, my teachers used to tell me garbage in, garbage out. I yes. mean, essentially, if you want better, you have to do better. And that requires for you to have some level of discipline yeah. or change of habits or creating new environments to support yeah. your new way of thinking. And social media may be holding you back. Yeah, but I mean, if you're doing self-improvement, that's great. But if you're looking at, like you say, garbage in, garbage out, if I'm always looking at something that's garbage, you know, negative things, fighting, fighting, mm -hmm. you know, gossip all day long. Mm -hmm. And that's what I am going to end up consuming and ended up distributing to other people. Mm -hmm. So you got to get that out of your life immediately. Yes. If you want, I don't listen to a lot of gossip. I don't get involved in it. I don't even look at the news most of the time yeah. just because it comes from such a negative place. Right. So I stop consuming because huh. I want to consume positive content, yeah. motivation and inspirational content, mm -hmm. content that's going to get me where I want to go. Just like this channel. Mm -hmm. That's why we want you to like, comment yeah, and subscribe, subscribe. Yeah. and hit that notification bell. So let's look at a quote, just some information that we can reflect on that supports this idea that you may need yep. less social media in your life. So Catherine Pollard from John Hopkins has written in a news uh, letter that no matter how long you choose to cut off social media access, research shows that a break from repetitive scrolling and constant notifications can improve mental health and quality of life. Just quitting it because of the repetitive behavior, not even the negative content, yeah. Dr. J, not even the, the gossip, the lack of good facts that exist <laughs> in social media. This, she says that just because you eliminate the repetitive scrolling, that is a huge yeah. benefit. Just removing from constant notification. So all this just barrage of information that's hitting you can take a lot of your time yeah. away from you, your I'm, quality time. Think about this, doctor. See what most people do. They mm -hmm. scroll and yeah. take a look mm -hmm. and see if it's going to give them that high, right? right? That right. video. And if that doesn't, scroll to the next and right. then scroll. Uh -huh. And you just see the kids scrolling, 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 yeah. right? Looking for that video that captures their attention mm -hmm. to give them some input. Right. Just step away. Go outside, garden. You remember we used to garden? What? We used to play outside. You used to see kids running around. Right. Now you go in neighborhoods. It's empty. It's empty. Yeah. Kids are in the house on computers, on mm -hmm. tablets, mm -hmm. on, you know, games. Mm -hmm. And so that's way different. We need to get kids back outside exploring. Yes. Clearing their minds, looking at nature, riding their bikes. Yeah. There's more kids that don't know how to ride a bike today right. than way when we were back then right. just because they don't get outside as much. And that's a, that's sad. Yeah, and I think that's another benefit that you speak of, that if as older adults um, or adults that are uh, over the age of 18 right now, you can start reconditioning yourself pro like like we have in our, uh, our generation to stop using these types yep. of social media hacks and, and, <laughs> and just focus on what is outside. And that's just going to take a little bit of discipline to change that behavior absolutely but when you change your behavior dr c mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about you know what you can expect some improvements that you get from taking away a little bit of that activity from social media again keep watching dr c and dr j on a two doc minds absolutely. video channel absolutely. but these are some of the improvements that you can experience if you eliminate your social media activity increase sleep duration and quality what do you think about that increase sleep I mean, it's like, uh, you know, you're tied to that computer mm -hmm. and you're getting that high, you're getting that stimulation, you have all that lights and things flashing in you. You know, it's hard to unwind from that. Yep. So when you push that away, even if you say six o'clock, I'm not going to do any social media until yeah. the end of the day, I get a guideline. chance for my eyes, my mind, to my relax. brain to relax. Right. So then when I transition to sleep, I'm in a more restful, relaxful state. So I'm going to get better sleep. Mm -hmm. Right. But if I'm sleeping with the phone right next to my bed and swiping and until I go to sleep, you're just not going to get the same quality sleep. So you're not. put it down, get put some it sleep. Down. There's tons <laughs> of scientific data that support that if you cut off your phone at a certain time at night, say six or seven o'clock and don't turn it back on until that next morning, yeah. like six or 7 a.m., you will have a higher likelihood, I would say. Absolutely. Of better sleep. So let's go into another benefit of cutting your your uh, social media activity down is productivity. 
Simple. You put one thing down, you, you pick up something else. You put social media down, you pick up a book and you, you improve yourself, you're going to have more positive information that you want. Mm -hmm. If you put social media down and you go exercise, mm -hmm. where well, you're going to be in better shape than you want. If you put that social media down and then invest in you, mm -hmm. then you're going to be where you want. Right. Again, you have to give up something to get something. And sometimes you have to give up that social media to get where you want to be. Yeah, I like that produ productivity idea because yep. what happens is you cut that off and then you're forced to say, <laughs> oh my God, what am I going to do with yes. all this free time? Yes. And you start to pick up a book or you start to cook your meals at home or you start to maybe fold more clothes and make sure that your room is clean. It's just amazing what that little bit yeah. of time will um, amount up to. If yeah. You I mean, look at our it. daughter. We took the tablet away. She started reading more books. Absolutely. It was that simple. Yes. Yeah. And it's very beneficial. Yeah. So the next thing that we could benefit from when we cut off social media just a little bit yeah. is to help manage chronic stress, anxiety, and depression. Yeah. And especially amongst the younger uh, folks, Folks. Yes. Uh, people, again, we talk about it, think social media is real. It yes. is fake as all get out. Well, not all of it. Well, not all of it. There's but a lot most. of good stuff. You but can say most. I'm talking about that garbage content that's mm -hmm. just talking about negativity. Right. That's just talking about, um, you know, bringing people down, gossiping. I'm talking about that type of social yeah. media. The social media that's not bringing uh, value outside, I guess, the entertainment, but not bringing you value as far as self Personal growth, yeah. Personal growth, improving, inspiring you, making you happy. Yeah. So if you're looking at social media and, and you find out you're just as unhappy as you were before you start, you may want to look at yourself and say, do I need to do something different? Maybe I get on social media and just listen to inspiring content. Yeah. Content that's going to get me ready for my day. Yeah. So there's reasons why you would want to do it, but just make sure that you don't have that garbage coming in. Yeah. So you have that garbage coming out. Right. And I think inspirational content is different for everybody yeah. and it looks different for everybody. Absolutely. Some people like inspirational content that shows you working out. Some people yeah. like inspirational content with just people walking down the beach. Yeah. So find that that content or find that um, inspiration that yeah. will supply you with a better a wealth of information that helps you to make better changes in your life. And, and, and Dr. C, going to our next point, it's OK to be bored. It's okay to have a moment where you're just bored. You're just on the couch or in your bed and you're just have nothing to worry about. Well, just, I, yeah, boredom is a very interesting word because when you're saying just allow yourself to be bored, what's happening during that time? You're allowing yourself to what? Lay down or sit down in a quiet place? And just relax. And just relax. Not worry about anything. Okay. Not stressing over anything. Mm -hmm. Not trying to do something. Mm -hmm. Just bored. Huh. I have nothing to do. I have no one bothering me. I have no one reaching out to get something from me. Right. And I'm just going to relax and, and enjoy this time. Mm -hmm. Some of the best time in your life. You got to make sure you take time for yourself. We call it boredom here, yeah. but it's really just taking time to be with yourself for yourself right. so that you can improve on yourself and get to know yourself. Wow. Yeah. That's some good advice. So be bored and let it happen. Absolutely. So <laughs> do you think that you can commit to not being on social media or reduce your social media significantly. And if you do, let us know in the comment section if you can do it. And let us know when you're gonna start so that we know that you're gonna be starting your journey because we are there with you during your journey. Yes, absolutely. So like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching this channel. Absolutely. We look forward to hearing from all the people that participate in our growth. We are on our way to 100K subscribers and we hope that you join us for our next video. I'm Dr. C. I'm Dr. J. And thank you for watching. A two doc minds.